this video we're going to look at working with AutoCAD and Autodesk Docs. Hi, I'm Gareth Spencer. I'm one of the technical consultants here at Man & Machine. Did you know that you can use AutoCAD and sheet sets inside AutoCAD with Autodesk Construction Cloud by saving the files directly to the Autodesk Docs? Here we have our project which we've just set up to utilise. As you can see we have all the folder structure set up. We just now need to go in here and start saving our files. I'm going to be the structure engineer on this project and I'm utilising AutoCAD. So what I want to do is first of all jump into AutoCAD and start setting up my project. If you're using sheet sets, I'm going to go to my sheet sets here on the right hand side. I'm going to start a new sheet sets. I'm going to use an example sheet set which I've already got set up which you'll see here, I have my structural sheet sets. I'm going to click next, give it a title. So in this case, I need to make it clear what it is. When setting it up, we need to make sure that we store the sheet sets file in our construction cloud. By clicking on the three buttons here, you'll see I've already gone through, selected the correct hub, project, and location where the files are to be saved. I can always go back here and customise my sheets property set. As you'll see here this has already been defined and this is helping me fill out the relevant information inside our CAD drawing in relationship to for example the drawing name, number, scale, who drew the drawing and so forth. We can also add in any further custom properties at any point. Once we're doing this, you'll see here we can also create a folder structure based on the subset. I'm not doing this, I'm just going to save them to the right folder when I do this. I'm going to click next, finish. So it's going to create my sheet sets here on the right hand side. I can now start to populate my drawings. Now once this is set up, we'll find the sheet sets DST file will be saved in Autodesk Docs. This will allow all the users to access this directly through their AutoCAD environment. Now one thing to note here as we're doing this, if I'd applied the name convention, this would have to comply with the name convention standard that it needs to be. Let's start creating our drawings inside AutoCAD. So the first one I'm going to go in and I'll create my external works drawing. I'm going to right click on here and select new sheet. This will then start the process and allow me to select the template file. So I'm going to click into here, scroll down and you'll see my template file here. I'm going to select it. I'm going to pick drawing frame as A1. Now I need to give this a specific number. So I'm going to put in the correct numbering that I need, making sure we give it the correct title. Now make sure when you're doing this is if you want both the sheet number and sheet title included, it will add them both automatically. I'm just going to remove that and just have the drawing file number. Click OK. It will now create me the drawing. So you can see that's quickly automated that process. We now have our new drawing shown. Just going to show you in the drawing here. You'll see there are a number of fields which we don't have any values. So you'll see here site investigation layouts been added. The drawing number has been added but the other things haven't. So for example I'm going up to here, I'm going to the top, I'm going to right click, go properties and you'll see in here I can add specific project properties. So for example I want to add the project number in here and the project name. So now we've got that included, both the project number and project name will be included as part of each drawing. You'll see here on the left hand side, just move this to one side here, we have project. The values here should replicate the values here in the control. So what will happen is every time we create a new drawing it should populate that information for us automatically. We can even in here, which I've just missed off so I'll just add in now, the actual information associative to the project for the site. And again will help populate the information in here. This is data that needs to be added to every single drawing that I create and things um, that need to be played on the drawing will go through now. So if I click OK, 
back over to sheet sets go to set the drawing this time right click and go to the properties similar kind of thing you'll see here all this, this data so for example we can put in the scale let's put in the revision drawing status some of this data I don't know yet so I'm going to leave but we can easily do that so for example um, we've got things like the revision number up here and so forth. We haven't used that category in here, but we could have done. So if I click OK and just refresh the drawing, you'll now see those parameters within the drawing are automatically updated. So all I need to do now is start creating my drawings within here. So here's a drawing that I've already created. As you'll see, the drawing has some information in the background, which is xref directly through the construction cloud. As you'll see, when we go to XREF a file, we can select it from a location saved within the construction cloud. In this case, our XREF folder. We can access our files now directly through our Sheet Sets Manager. And as you'll see, we have a number of drawings already included. This has helped populate the information. We can access our files directly through the Autodesk docs in AutoCAD. As you'll see here, it's accessing the project the folder and all the drawings here on the left hand side and it's given us the information about whether the file synced or not. As we switch back into Autodesk Stocks you'll see it's saved in the same location. We can see the files and the description of each file which have been included. The file I currently have open is currently locked. You can see we have the version history of all the files and here you can see this file has three versions currently. We can always make the previous version current we can also download the source file or create copies of the file. If I just open this file, you will be able to see the information we can see in AutoCAD. As you can see here, the drawing has all the information we can see in AutoCAD. We can see the title data. We can also see the information within the drawing itself. At the top, you'll see we'll be able to switch between different versions. We can select which sheet or model space we want to view. We have the layers, so we can turn on and off specific layers in the view to see the information we need. We have viewports, but there's none in this drawing. We have model browser to turn off certain elements, for example, our text. We have the ability to mark up and see all markups within the drawing. You can see any issues, again, that have been included within the drawing. We have the ability to measure within the drawing, so we can take a point from two locations in some cases, or area, or even angles. Please note this has to be calibrated beforehand by the scale, or actual taking two points within the drawing to give a dimension. We can also utilize the tools on the right-hand side for markups and issues. And we can also, if we require, actually look at the comparisons of two drawings. So for example, here we've selected version two and you'll see by the image, actually there's nothing in the drawing because we haven't actually created it just yet. We'll be able to see this as we work. Utilizing the Autodesk's AutoCAD web mobile, we can access the information through the browser here and edit the file in our AutoCAD online. We would first need to sign in to access the file. Once we've signed in, it should open the drawing in the web space. As you can see on screen, we can now view the file directly in the AutoCAD online. This allows us to edit the file, look at the properties, layers, blocks, XREF, traces, Add some list routines, but also we have the drawing functionality on the bottom, so we can easily edit our drawing as we need to. And we can also save this directly back to Autodesk Docs. As we switch back into Docs, you'll see we can actually do a few other tasks in here as well. One functionality is that we can search for text within our drawing. For example, if I type in Transformer here, you'll see it's found too. Here's the first one. And there is the second one, the large one on the screen there. We also have the ability, utilising this, to switch between other drawings in the system. You'll see here if I select the drawing on the left, it will switch to the other drawing without having to press on the X at the top. 
I hope you found this useful, how to use AutoCAD and AutoCAD sheet sets with Autodesk Docs.